Hi there guys, welcome back. You are here with The Architect and we are playing MotoGP 21 on the Xbox. This is round two of our Schwantz Championship on the Lucky Strike Suzuki RGV 500. This is round two. We're going into Qatar. Our current standings is we won the first round at the Laguna Seca circuit. So we're ahead on points at the moment, 25 points with McCoy in second and Valentino Rossi in third. And we're looking for history to repeat itself with Wayne Rainey, who was the actual challenger to Kevin Schwantz in 1993. So that's what we're looking for, for Wayne Rainey to win a race maybe this time round and to try and be a little bit more competitive than last time where he only scored six points so if you remember guys last time round we said we might increase the race options to 35% and I think we should probably do that and also AI difficulty we're going to up it to 80% now and we're going to see how that plays out this is the second time that I've done some actual championship racing so we started out on 75% and we realized very quickly that that wasn't high enough and we ended up about 12 seconds in front Bike recovery is off because I don't like it. So let's head off then into the second round at Qatar at the LaSalle circuit, one of my favourite circuits. I'm going to go off and do FP1, 2 and 3 and try and get a good setup for us. So I'll see you in the race, guys. <laughs> results for free practice one John Kaczynski is leading FP1 session on a 201.9 we are struggling a little bit Wayne Rainey is also struggling a little bit he's just over half a second slower than Kaczynski but we are in 12th ahead of Eddie Lawson with a 202 so we're nearly a second slower at the moment we're still dialing in the setup we're struggling with the gearing and getting the bike to turn but we'll fix it for FP2 so FP2 has gone really really well once we dialed in some of the suspension settings and sort the gearing out we was able to manage to start hitting the times for this session so looking at live sessions now uh, we are on top we're uh, over half a second in front and we did that time on hard tyres John Kaczynski finished the session in second Arbe he's now third Wayne Rainey is down in 10th still so he's struggling a little bit quite a gap in times I mean McWilliams is really struggling he's on 207 and Kenny Roberts Jr but let's see what happens in FP3 so in our FP3 session we're still leading the way with a, a two dead in fact literally a 200.999 it couldn't be any close to a 21 but it still puts us off a second in front of Kenny Roberts we tried doing some more tweaks to the suspension but I actually put it back which allowed me to get the two 00.99 dead so I don't I think we're at the pinnacle of this bike and my skill level with the suspension setup that we've got so let's head off into qualifying and see how we do so here we're in qualifying and uh, the air temperature is at zero degrees quite cold today and the track temperature is also zero degrees so we're going to be wearing chains today on soft tires hopefully that should get us around the track come on milestone what is the track temperature exactly what is it giving us it is zero degrees so we're looking for a two dead that's what we're kind of looking for so we've got enough fuel for one lap one fast lap I mean, doing at the moment is leading the way with a 201 this is a cracking lap 1.3 up so this should beat me doing that puts us on pole position with a 2.7 perfect yeah, so that's put us on pole position. That's the fastest time I've done all weekend. Max Biaggi is in second. He's like one second. No, he's not that far away actually, half a second. Yeah, half a second up or down. And McCoy third, so that's front row. Uh, Michael Doohan, he's almost the same as McCoy in terms of lap times. So we should be good for this race, guys. We should be good. Wayne Rainey. What's that? I don't know what's happening to Wayne Rainey. It's like 13th. It's weird. Oh well, let's head off to the race. Okay, so this is interesting, guys. Here we are at the Qatar circuit, but it's saying it's rainy. 
and we've got a zero degrees track and air temperature and zero wind so is it rainy or not i don't know it doesn't look like it's raining okay so i think i can hear some rain um so maybe it is raining let's go and have a look at our tire setup it is raining okay so we need to soften a few things up on the suspension it's made it interesting though hasn't it because all of our free practice sessions it's been warm on track like 43 degrees and now it's raining on the day which has really really put a spanner in the works so let's see how we can deal with this i think so we'll go on softs i think but let, we need to go into track engineer now and have a look at the setup and what we need to do is we need to soften things up so i'm going to take one out the preload one out the spring hardness in fact i'm going to take a couple out the spring hardness i'm going to take a, a couple out the rebound i'm going to take one out the preload on the rear shock I'm going to take one out of the spring hardness and I'm going to take a, a couple out of the rebound on the rear shock as well. So a bit of a gamble guys, I'll save this setup because if it does work I'll publish it after this video as a wet setup. I'll also publish the dry setup as well. This is a gamble guys, it's going to be so interesting. Let's go. Tire choice, a bit of a mix. Some are using the medium front, but most are using the soft rear. Well, that'll be for grip, I should imagine, but we're going on softs. Qatar Motorcycle Grand Prix will start shortly here in Doha with the riders ready to compete on this amazing floodlit racetrack. Right, so strangely, it doesn't look like it's raining to me out there. But here we go, lights out. It's definitely raining. You, do, you just can't see the water on the track. Oh, we've left them standing. As we go into the first corner. Nice and tentative. So we are on 80% AI at the moment. But this might be a, an advantage to us. Ooh! Oh, so we've got to be so so tentative around here. I'm going to use lower gears. It's slippy out there. My God. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we're in any hurry. I think because of our setup. Setup seems okay actually, but because of our setup, we've got this advantage of with the difficulty set until we find out where we are. We've got a bit of breathing space, I would say. But we've got eight laps around here. And it's slippy. Oh. <laughs> Let's keep an eye. Let's keep an eye on our tyre temperatures oh dear this is going to be a slow race guys I think we're going to make up our time gone way too deep oh this is so so slippy out there I'm not very good anyway in the wet but the guys are chasing us they are there look in that cloud of water as we tip it into turn one 
You can definitely hear them behind us now. Oh, look how wide. It's not the setup, guys. The setup is actually okay. It's a good job we softened it all up. We'll, I don't think we would have got round here with the dry setup at all. Matt's BRG is behind us, two seconds. We've got a two second gap. Matt's BRG is behind us. Michael Dewan in third place. McCoy in fourth. So it is all those guys who we needed to be careful of. Wayne Rainey, not sure where Wayne Rainey is. It doesn't look like it's raining though on track, does it? And where's the rain? I mean, it's blue sky out there. Come on, Milestone. There's not a cloud in the sky. The track looks dry other than the effect of the spray coming off the back wheel. Moto GP20, I'm going to say it, I'm going to put it out there. Moto GP20 to me is a better game. Oh, look how wide we've gone there. Moto GP20 is a better game than this, guys. That's my humble opinion after playing this game for a few weeks. Moto GP20 is better. There, I've said it. I've said it now. I can't go back on that. It's just more put together. It's more finished. This game doesn't really feel like it's finished. Four seconds in front now. I think we can up the AI again. Another 5%, I would say, on the next race for round three. Until we find out where we need to be. But they're nowhere in sight now, 4.1 seconds in front, and I'm not pushing it, guys. I'm kind of taking it easy around here, because it's very slippy. In fact, what we could do is a bit of fun. We could try and up the pace a little bit, and we'll see if we can get a full lap in front. I've still got time if I fall off, so we've... Half a second up as we come round there, 0.1 second up. Let's see if we can if we can make a couple of seconds on our previous lap time. Let's see how fast we can actually go in the rain. Without losing it. Wayne Rainey isn't gonna catch us, that's for sure. So one and a half seconds up already, now we're pushing it. Nearly two seconds up. We're wide here, definitely wide here. Too deep, but we're still one and a half seconds up. Can, can we maintain it? 1.3 now. See how far we can push this bike in the wet. Two seconds up, we pushed it a bit too far. So that's good. Oh, the guys are coming now. Look, we had a little bit of room. We had a bit of room in there just to allow us to crash. So you can't push it too much because you will crash. But positions haven't changed. Max Biaggi still behind us, 3.8 seconds. So we're already increasing that gap. The setup's all right though for the wet. I will publish them both. Whoa. Whoa, we're out in the sandpit. That could have screwed up. We could have screwed it up. Oh no, they're coming now, look. <laughs> Race is on now. Our gearing is spot on down there. We got some really high top speed in our gearing. 
Wayne Rainey, disappointing that he's not a bit closer to us. You'll notice in the calendar, Magello isn't in this. I haven't put Magello in there for a reason. If you don't know, guys, it's where Wayne Rainey challenging for the championship with uh, Kevin Schwantz had his accident at Magello. Serious accident where he broke his spine. I think he severed the nerves as well. It basically paralysed him from the waist down. And that happened at Magello. So I didn't really want to go to Magello. Out of respect more than anything, I just didn't want to have to think about that. I remember seeing it uh, back in the day. But the main thing is he survived and you know what? He's been a great ambassador f for GPs. And I don't know if... Um, if you've got to have seen it, let me know in the comments, but there was a YouTube video, you can search for it, where Yamaha adjusted a bike, let's say, engineered a bike to allow him to ride it. Let me know if, in the comments below if you've seen that video. But they engineered, uh, after like 25 years, they managed to engineer some adaptions to a Yamaha R1 for Wayne Rainey, and he actually put it, he actually got himself on this bike well with some help and for the first time in 25 years he had ridden around the track again it was, it's quite emotional to watch but it's a great video go and search for it on YouTube Wayne Rainey the Yamaha R R1 or or search for something like that in fact I'll I'll see if I can find it if I can find it I'll put a link in the description in this video and go and have a look at it guys it's fantastic quite an emotional video it was something that Yamaha did on the R1 for him. It was just great. He said he felt great. We're sliding around all over the place. Can't see any water on the track. But we're getting loads of spray. The bike's very sensitive. I mean, look at that. Just sliding around that corner. Okay, so... At the end of lap six, we are eight seconds in front. Max Biaggi is second place. Then Michael Doohan, Mick Doohan, and Gary McCoy in fourth. We still hold the fastest lap of a 2.13. I don't know what the other guys are doing. But we're consistent in the 2.14s for the first three laps. Then we started going a bit mad, didn't we? And it's 2.13.3 where we come off. Our last lap was 2.13.3. No, it wasn't. 2.14.5. Oh! Just locked the front. Locked the front up. And we don't want this to happen towards the end of the race because we definitely want our 25 points now. No one's crashed though, have they? Which is a bit of a surprise. Oh. Is my tyre worn off? We need to manage this gap now, guys. Getting serious. We need to manage this gap. Okay, let's, let's get our lines better. <laughs> it's just spinning up completely spinning all the time just on basic acceleration let's see if we can have a wheelie in the rain we can't because it just spins up we can't even wheelie in the rain guys that's terrible it just spins up So no wheelies today. Final lap anyway. We're on the final lap. Six and a half seconds in front now. It fell off twice. Max Biaggi is behind us. Gary McCoy is in third. Michael Doohan now is in fourth. He was third. McCoy's overtook him. We carry in the fastest lap of a 2.13 at the moment. And we're looking to take the win on this final lap.
This will give us our 50 points, which gives us a good lead. We're nearly a second up on this lap, actually. <laughs> that rear wheel. Oh, <laughs> one and a half seconds up. This is going to be our fastest lap. Come on, two seconds up. Oh, come on. Two seconds up now. 1.3, 1.2. We're losing time now all the way down there. 11 seconds in front though as we come over the line to win the race. Round two at Qatar. Job done. While the riders complete their lap of honour, let's check out the final race standings. So final results then, Kevin Schwantz come first, so our best lap was actually a 2.12.4, so we did manage to get into it onto that last lap. Mats Biaggi come second, Gary McCoy come third. Their lap times consistently 2.16, in fact the majority of the field were 2.16, so we were actually lapping four seconds in front, that's crazy. But we definitely need to up the difficulty next time round and we will do that guys. We need to have more competition, but we're just finding our feet at the moment. Where did Wayne Rainey come? He come last look. Average time, 2.14. So that don't make a lot of sense, does it? He must have fell off or something. Don't know. So, Riders Championship then. We're still leading the championship with 50 points. Gary McCoy is in second, 14 points behind with 36 points. Matt Spiaggi, he's moved up two places now with 31 points, 19 points behind. Valentino Rossi has moved down a place. At 21 points now. So the contenders are starting to show now, which is McCoy and Biaggi. Where's Wayne Rainey? So Wayne Rainey's right down, moved down three places, nine points now. So let's lead on to the this podium then. has been able to impose a frantic pace on today's race, and now he and his mechanics are rightly going to party. So that's another race win for us in the bag. So round three in the next episode, guys. Can't remember where we're going to next episode. Let's have a quick look at Donington Park. So round three is at Donington Park, guys. We're going to up the level to 85% and we're going to see how we do. I know this track for me is not one of my favourites at all. It's in here because it's one of the historical tracks and these bikes used to race around here back in the day. So if you come and join me in the next episode, guys, and uh, we'll see how we do. But for this episode, we're going to leave it here and I'm going to wish you farewell. I'm going to thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that like button as well and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.